Hello everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. A 56 years old man is undergoing a carotid end arteriectomy. The internal carotid artery is mobilized. How many branches does the vessels give off in the neck? So in this question, the main point is the 56 year old man undergoing carotid end arteriectomy that is the surgical procedure and the internal carotid artery was mobilized and they want to they want to know how many branches does the vessel gives off that means the internal carotid artery has how many branches in the neck area Here the options options are 0 1 2 3 and 6 so now we have to see the internal carotid artery in the neck and we have to find out the branches of the internal carotid artery at the neck so here we can see this is the common carotid artery it ascends upward and we can see at this position this common carotid artery dividing into the external carotid artery and internal carotid artery and here we can see the internal carotid artery it runs upward and it enters into the cranial cavity so in this area where from the origin up to the reaching the skull base and finally entered into the cranial cavity here we can see no branches of the internal carotid artery here after reaching into the cranial cavity the internal carotid artery gives ophthalmic artery anterior cerebral artery middle cerebral artery anterior choroidal artery and posterior communicating artery so the internal carotid artery it provides five of the branches into the cranial cavity but in the neck area the internal carotid artery gives no branches so this picture is enough for answering this question the internal carotid artery arising from the common carotid artery it runs along the neck but it gives no branches in the neck it finally it enters into the cranial cavity and gives the branches so it is now clear that the internal carotid artery it provides no branches in the neck in this picture we can see the another view of internal carotid artery here this is the internal carotid artery and this is the external carotid artery and they derive from the common carotid artery here and the internal carotid artery it runs or ascend upward but here we can see the internal carotid artery it gives no branches in the neck area and finally we can see it enters into the foramen in the cranial uh, skull base then it reaches into the cranial cavity through the carotid canal and in this area here from origin up to the inter to base of the skull it gives no branches in the this area so the internal carotid artery it gives no branches in the neck and here we can see the branches of the internal carotid artery they are the anterior and middle cerebral artery, ophthalmic artery, posterior communicating artery, anterior choroidal artery, some meningeal arteries and hypophyseal arteries. So they are the branches of the internal carotid artery but all the branches are in the cranial cavity not in the neck. Thank you all.